PCR is a, a method of testing that looks for the genetic material of the virus you are looking for. Lateral flow tests are designed to look for your human Im immune response to the virus being present in your body. Um, so that's, that's the basic difference. One's looking for the organism itself and one is looking for the response to the organism. Uh, there's no such thing as a perfect test. Tests are very fallible to, to a number of interfering factors. Um, and one of the, the key things we're looking at is that we're sampling from the human body, which is not a stable, consistent environment. You're sampling people's back of their throats and the, the, the deep navel, nasal cavity. And you can't guarantee to have collected a good sample every time. And you can't guarantee that everybody's body is going to be working the same way in response to a COVID infection. So um, the, the presence of a virus and what numbers it's in and the presence of your immune response and, and the amount of that present at, on any given day cannot be guaranteed. Initially, there was a really big um, news uh, information and hype about the requirement for PCR testing. PCR testing is a really um, flexible test principle which can be applied very quickly to new pressures. The principle of PCR is that you have a, a mapped register of the genetic material of the organism you're looking for, and once you have that map, it is really easy to develop a test which detects the organism you're looking for. Um, so that's why it, it is, it's really flexible, it can be applied quickly, it can be developed quickly, so it was the first response in terms of how we look for it and how we detect it. Um, and then we look at the, the lateral flow testing, which is also a really well established test principle which has been used for detection of a variety of organisms, but um, it takes much longer to develop. It, it takes much more research time to make sure you're looking for targets which are going to be universal and you have a test which is going to work really well. So that's why lateral flow testing has only come along relatively recently in the COVID pandemic. Um, ultimately, there'll be more tests underway. People are always looking to develop better tests and different targets and different methods. Um, it's very difficult, not all tests are created equal. There is good quality lateral flow tests and there are poorer quality lateral flow tests. We have followed guidance from Public Health England and selected the one which they have reviewed independently and have given us statistics to show that it is, it is as good as, if not better in some studies, than PCR itself. So we're, um, we're really happy with the, the quality of the testing we're doing and we're maintaining the quality of that testing by ensuring that all the sampling is done by medical professionals, which gives us good, consistent, high-quality samples.